guess what? We're going to Burning Man for the very first time! Yeah! And when we ask seasoned burners what is their best piece of advice, their answer usually has been, keep an open mind, don't expect anything. It's all great, but we are going to the freaking desert! What do we need to do to survive? Hey, my name is Olar. And I'm Emily. And after asking around and searching, you actually need only a couple of essential things to survive Burning Man. That is, in addition to your camping gear and tent and things. Respirator masks. So you can breathe during the sandstorms. Goggles. So you can see during the sandstorms. Scarves. So your head is protected from the sun and from sandstorms. Sunscreen. So if you are white, you will not go up in flames. <laughs> Boots. So your feet will not get eaten by the alkaline playa dust. Water bottles with ID. So you will always have water on you and the ability to get free alcoholic drinks. And water. Lots, lots and lots, lots of, of water. water. In two weeks, if we are still alive and healthy, we will be back from the desert and share were all those things actually necessary or we missed something or needed something else. But until then... Our trip to the Black Rock City can begin! actually useful and how many could we have done without? For example the scarf, very handy at night time because it got really cold. <laughs> Daytime wear, nighttime wear. <laughs> but it wasn't handy at all to cover your head from the dust. No, the dust gets everywhere and so if you have long hair make sure that you braid it at the beginning of the week and leave it in for the entire week because otherwise you're going to have an incredible rat's nest and it's gross. Yeah, your hair is gonna be like a wire. You bend it and it stays like that. <laughs> but with the dust, surprising for me was that I always expected there'd be a huge sand dunes, but that wasn't the case. Instead, it was a solid asphalt. Mm -hmm. You should go shave. I'm gonna go and shave my beard. <laughs> Goggles! Very handy if you have contact lenses, like Emily. Yeah. I use my goggles a lot just because I didn't want my contacts drying out. Pro tip, if you have contacts, get yourself some daily disposables. You'll definitely love it. I don't have contact lenses, so I didn't use goggles. And the dust is so fine that you just can squint your eyes or wear sunglasses on daytime. And you see perfectly. There's no problems. <laughs> but we only had one whiteout because we had really good weather. If you happen to have a whiteout every day, you're going to want your goggles. Yeah, I guess it's better to have them and you don't need to use them than not to have them and need to use them. Mm. And all the other things like... Respirators. Boots. Water bottle. Were very crucial. And if you are a white boy like me, that thing, sunscreen, will save your life. Sunscreen. So what were some other things that we either brought with us or missed that we definitely think would have made the experience better? Foldable cups, very handy to have in Burning Man. Because you're often offered things like ice cream or french fries or soup or a grilled cheese sandwich or uh, ice cold coffee. And it's good to have a little receptacle to put it in. Without bikes, you are going to miss out. Burning Man, everything is walkable distance. But if you have a bike, you will get from point A to point B way faster. You see more, you experience more, and you can go with your friends to adventures. Yay! And then make sure you have lights, because the only light in the playa are the lights that are brought by people. So make sure you deck yourself out and your bike out so that you don't get run over. Yeah, and if you want to actually see where you be in the nighttime, bring your light. Yes, there aren't any lights in the porta potties. 
lastly, when you arrive at Burning Man, you're going to get one of these survival guides on the back. You will see all the 10 principles and it will help you, you know, survive the rest of your burn. But the main thing to know about Burning Man is that it is a community. So you get what you put in. Yeah, always ask for a consent. If you would like to know our first experience at Burning Man, let us know and we make another video. Other way, we hope that this video was helpful for you on your first trip to Black Rock City and have a happy burn. Have a happy burn. Bonus tip for cleaning. Baby wipes are great for your face and hands, but for the body, best is two spray bottles. One filled with water, and another one filled with soap, and face gloves. Ideally, two per use.